All right, hey, it's Jason Pearson here, and today I got an awesome um, interview I'm doing. We're going to get the story of Kara Studer, and um, she was 16 at the time uh, when, this, when, this, uh, when she came on the program, but we're going to get the story of her and how she struggled with, um, I think, something that, like a lot of women do anyways, but even high school girls, even preteen with self-image and... Um, and um, self-image and um, and just high school like pressures and stuff too. So, anyways, we're gonna get what happened with, with how what, what her whole story is. So, anyways, Kara, how you doing? I'm uh, doing good. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for coming here. So, um, let's get started here. So, give us a little bit of your backstory before you came on to the um, before you had come, come came on to the program. Like, you know, your history. Um, um, you know what you want to accomplish, or your, your desires, your internal and external struggles along the way, and the wall or problem you hit, where where um, you even sought after the the uh, JPD, and even with your parents, I know they had came um, came to this conclusion too, and also like with your parents, how this all, you know, how your parents, you know, got in this too, and what they wanted for you too. Okay, well, um, it kind of all started, uh, let's see, I was a sophomore in high school, and I always did sports and uh, all throughout school and did plenty of exercise and stuff, but it was uh, particularly um, the end of my sophomore year, I just kind of started exercising more, and uh, at first I just thought I was being healthier, but then I ended up cutting my food and it just kept like snowballing, cutting more and more and more. And it got to the point to where it was becoming more of like an eating disorder where I didn't want to eat any more food. I would try to eat as little as possible and exercise as much as possible. So I would run in the morning and then come home from school and do another exercise. Uh, but it really, I just thought I was getting healthier. And then it was, not even maybe two weeks of that that um, my parents started to notice I was losing a lot of weight and I was starting to become very fatigued, uh, tired all the time, really moody and uh, because of that um, then I started to deal with things like shin splints from doing the running and losing a lot of weight and so it came to the conclusion that um, my mom was just talking to me that I needed to get help or I needed to start eating more and what happened was is I did actually start to eat more because I was forced to but that didn't really help. I actually needed to lose weight which was really weird because I was expecting to gain weight from it and so um, my dad ended up going on the Jason Pearson diet to lose weight and so it kind of worked out that my parents talked with Jason and uh, he said that he could help me and so we thought we'd just try it out for a couple weeks and just try some menus and see um, see what would happen. But I guess the reason that I ended up um, exercising more and more was just because like throughout high school, you know, kind of did struggle with a little bit of self-image and thinking, you know, looking in the mirror and just not thinking that I was skinny enough um, and that just kind of snowballed. Uh, got out of control and it just ended up becoming an eating disorder in the end and then once I got onto Jason's diet um, it really started to help because I there's just nothing that was working with uh, I went to the doctor and she just said try to snack you know throughout the day and I did that and I ate more for like dinner and lunch and everything but it still um, it didn't help. I continued to lose weight, didn't really feel the best, but I did also continue to exercise because I had that set in my head that I was going to exercise if I was going to eat more. So it really helped to come on to, uh, to Jason diet because the menus gave me um, structure that I had to follow. And so because of what was on the menu, um, I knew that I had to eat what was on the menu. Otherwise, uh, really um, my parents kind of told me that we're going to try this and if it doesn't work that we're going to have to go seek like a counselor or something like that just to help out. Mm -hmm. Well, great. And um, so you came out, you came on the program and before that, like what kind of foods were you eating? I mean, when you, when you were um, struggling when high school, I mean, with how you looked and stuff and so you, you're 
controlling the foods and stuff, like what did, what were you eating initially? I mean, what did you cut off all of a sudden? What, what how would how would your whole day look like? Okay. Um. Well, I kind of kept my days pretty much the same because I knew how much calories I was taking in. And so I would start out and breakfast was my biggest meal. And so I would eat um, a half a cup of oatmeal. So like a half a cup of dry oatmeal, I'd cook it with milk. I'd eat that. And then um, I'd have like these little pita things. They weren't even a real pita bread. It was um, very it was calorie. I would put like a little bit of peanut butter on it and then maybe um, a few strawberries and that would be breakfast. And then I would act snack throughout the day, but um, my morning snack was, I think, if I remember correctly, like four almonds, dark chocolate covered almonds. I did do that. And then lunch was either, so like I would switch off from like a protein bar um, to a, uh, let me think, like three slices of like deli meat and then a little salad and maybe um, a couple strawberries uh, or a different type of fruit, maybe like a cutie. So that was lunch. And then when I'd come home from school, I would eat a snack, but it was just an apple. That was all I'd eat. And then for dinner, it would usually be what my mom would cook. And it wasn't, I mean, I would eat um, to where they didn't really notice that I was restricting my calories but um, it still wasn't enough for the day. And then I would go to sleep and I wouldn't eat anything before bed. And also in between me, I would drink green tea because I thought that, that would um, speed up my metabolism. So that was like um, a basic day. And, and so you found these things like with the green tea, thinking it would speed up your metabolism. You probably found that online or did you get out, hear that from a friend or did you see on a commercial? Um, no, online, did a lot of research online about just things that speed up your metabolism, what types of things to eat, uh, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and how, you know, just, you know, for any, any like moms that are, that are watching this right now or, or any parents too, that might have like a teenage daughter or preteen. And um, you had mentioned that you have figured out a way to restrict your calories about your parents noticing. How'd you, how, how'd you do that? Well, I would pack my lunch every day when I go to school. So like I would always eat. And so my parents knew that I was eating because I would take stuff to school, bring it home empty. And um, I guess I would always eat at dinner. And so uh, my parents didn't really think anything of it because I was eating dinner and my, like I said, my biggest meal was breakfast. So those are the two things that I eat at. And then my lunch was very small. And uh, Actually, when I'd exercise for the second time during the day, it was after I get home from school, but before like my mom would get home from work. And so she knew that I would exercise, but she didn't know how much. And she wasn't really aware of how restrictive I was being with my calories um, at lunchtime. But okay, awesome. only for about, um, like I said, it was only a week to two weeks that I was able to do that before uh, they started to notice. Okay, and um, for, for anybody listening to this right now, uh, if you like what we're, what we're talking about right now, or if you have a daughter or two, um, or a preteen, or even just a, a, a young daughter that's going to be a teenager coming up, uh, hit the like button, love hearts, comment below, say yes, I have a daughter. I'd love to hear that too. Um, next, uh, Kara, what did you, so you said you extra, exercised um, not once, twice a day, right? Yeah. And like, when did you do this? I heard you say after school. When did you do this other other exercise session? Like, what did it consist of? Did you exercise for like five minutes, or did you? What did you do? So, uh, my mom has always been uh, a runner. Uh, in the morning, she would just run before work. Nothing like uh, um, too extreme for where she's training for marathons and stuff. But she, that was her exercise was running before work. So, um, when I this was in the springtime this was starting to happen and so I was wanting to uh, go running with her in the morning and so that's how it started so that that was my morning workout is I would go running with her and uh, it was about um, 30 to 40 minutes I think approximately um, it was about three miles three yeah probably about three miles so probably about 30 minutes and then in the afternoon 
when I would come home, I actually would do P90X plyometrics. Mm -hmm. which uh, if anybody has done P90X, uh, plyometrics is very difficult. Um, so that was definitely a workout. That's a 60 minute workout. Wow. And, um, yeah, that would be usually the second form. Otherwise, uh, sometimes I would do uh, any mm -hmm. workout that I would find on Pinterest of like squats and push-ups and that kind of stuff. Wow, that's awesome. And just so you know, just before we continue on with this interview, I want to let people know is that looking in the mirror, and this is what, you know, people also struggle with self-image, like changes that, that happen to us and our body, um, when we look in the mirror ourselves, we won't notice changes for like two years from what we see in the mirror versus if we take a picture. So a lot of times people will, will do stuff, and if you're trying to lose weight and and you look in the mirror and like, I'll still look the same way, I'll still look fat or whatever it is. That image are, is like in our, in, our, in our mind for like two years later. So this house, you know, stuff like this can be, can get uh, kind of dangerous, especially for like teenage girls and preteens. Um, so next, you got in the JPD program, Kara, and I, I, I think I remember having a talk with you and saying like, the grades we're going to, um, we're going to talk this through. I'm going to work with you along the way, um, step by step. We're going to put some quality weight on you. You're still going to look amazing. And I think you're doing nice sports too. I said, I'm going to help you out with that too, right? Yeah. Is yeah. That, how, that how the conversation went? Yeah. Uh, I remember um, getting on the phone and just talking through like the menus. And I specifically remember you telling me um, just to eat everything on the menus, just eat till you're full, that I don't have to finish anything, uh, but just to eat till I was full. And then uh, also I had told you that um, I was in sports and wanted to continue to exercise. I was in volleyball at the time and that I had uh, practices during the summer and you were telling me how uh, you're going to help me with that as well to excel in that sport. Okay, great. So when I told you these things, what did you think? Um, I mean... At first, I was kind of skeptical because uh, I just wasn't too sure about it yet. Um, I wasn't quite certain that it was going to work. And um, I guess I was still uh, kind of thinking that I didn't want to gain weight. And um, But I knew that I needed to try this because otherwise I would have to go see a counselor or go to a hospital and then be forced to. So I was I was open to the idea, but I wasn't quite um, wasn't quite on board with it yet. Okay, great. And so when you, you start you start the process and I start working with you, and along along that way, what did you have that like that aha moment where like this is working and like I can eat this food, I can eat a lot of food, and maybe I'm like I'm not gaining weight, and I'm actually. Um, also, like I'm getting weight, I'm getting, getting it on the the um, I'm getting I'm getting it in the, in the right areas, wherever it might be, wherever the hot, I don't know what the aha moment you had, but just when did you have that? What was that point? Um, I would yeah. say, uh, I'm trying to think, it wasn't probably for about a couple weeks in because when I first started on your program, I couldn't finish any of the meals that you gave me. I actually physically was full. Um. So probably about three weeks in, I really was um, like, you know, I'm liking this and I'm liking being able to eat and I'm liking that I was still stepping on the scale to see if I was making any progress and I was making progress that I wasn't gaining a whole lot of weight quickly, but I was feeling better. And so I'd say probably about three weeks in, I definitely had a lot better energy and I was starting to enjoy the foods that I was getting to eat more. So it was pretty much, I would say, almost right away. I would, I would say probably like about a month in, I was able to start finishing more of the meals and um, really start to enjoy eating food again. That's awesome. That's a pretty quick turnaround from where you're at. And because, um, um, I mean, you were, you were definitely well under the weight you should be at. And um, that's it. I think I might have told you that. We're gonna, we're gonna add on some weight. It's gonna be over time, over time, probably over four, five, six months, and seven months to be quality weight and stuff too. So you're sold at that time. You're like, okay, this is great. I'm starting to enjoy food more. I can like, you know, I'm ex I can exercise. I got my energy back. Um, 
And also remember, like here too, start making. Uh, if you notice that growing in here, start getting more fuller and blood too. But anyways, so go farther down the road, far, some months down the road. Thing. Sorry, what was that? Uh, going farther down the road, months down the road after that, how how things look like four or five or six months down the road. Once about six months, I really started to look better. Um, like I said, that first month, even though I was starting to feel better, I my weight wasn't to where it should be. I was still kind of skinny um, with like bones uh, sticking out a little bit. But um, once I got to that six month mark, I really just was enjoying being on uh, your program, um, having the weekly phone calls and just having support through all of it uh, and just starting to look, um, just look better, look healthier, not look as sick. And really, I was just enjoying the meals. I uh, loved being on uh, the diet because of the new meals I got to try and my relationship with food um, just got a whole lot better as time went on and so um even like from that six months to where i am now it's even better that's awesome i remember I remember during this time i said also i said you know just hop on the scale i think maybe like once a week or something like that just so i can for for my purposes only not for yours <laughs> right yeah, really in that first um first month to two months it was very hard for me to step on the scale because of one like if I wasn't gaining weight, I felt like I wasn't making any progress. And two, just so that I didn't have to see that number was good. But now, um, being the, you know three years down the road, it's definitely easier to step on the scale and not worry about what the number is going to be. Just to make sure you know that you're maintaining a good, healthy weight. Absolutely. So, um, so. Um, so what was the end result that you, you achieved uh, for coming kind of the program and going through high school with this? Um, with this also, I mean, you get more energy, your 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 self image, um, your food, your relationship with detail, or any, anything and everything that you gained from doing this. So I uh, definitely gained a better relationship with food. Um, it's just so much better now that I can enjoy sitting down eating dinner. Um, I will admit that it was hard and even uh, like um, just like six months ago to a year ago it is it was still a little hard to go out to eat because I don't always have that menu in front of me but I'm definitely better and now that I'm where I'm at today it's uh, even better I can go out and enjoy um, a meal at a restaurant but also just uh, my self-image and self-confidence is definitely improved and going into like my junior and senior year of high school I really um, benefited having uh, the plans and being on the diet because of all the pressure that goes on in high school or with other girls not eating lunch and I could feel like I could share with I care like what they're going through and know that I could help them out I could you know um, tell them that you know I know what you're going through type of thing but also just helping me realize that I don't need to be I can and still be healthy so that was enough that I gained was just through high school with all those pressures um, I guess and definitely more energy uh, when I was restricting my calories a lot it tended to make me very tired and very moody and to the point where I just didn't want to do anything so um, now having more of that energy uh, definitely was a big gain. That's awesome. Now, I mean, you, you eat more food because I told you how much food you're going to be coming, you're going to be eating coming up, and you eat more food than you probably ever thought possible. All the people that watch you, and yet you don't gain any weight, right? Yeah, I know it's really funny because um, uh, you know eating six times a day every th or every three hours, you know that's there's not a lot of people eat that often and I enjoy it and um, sometimes people think that you know you're eating healthy food and you're not eating very much because it's healthy it's like well you see what I eat for dinner you know that's a lot you gotta mm -hmm. put but no I enjoy it so um, definitely now I enjoy finishing everything on my plate 
compared to when I started, I couldn't even finish it, which is surprising. <laughs> wow. And so what's your, what's your outlook now looking like going forward in life now, you know, from like a teenager, you know, cause it could, I mean, you could have half your life, your whole life struggling with, with food and your self image and everything else. And uh, what's, what's your outlook now in life? Uh, I'm definitely a lot happier than I was um, in high school. I am way, yeah, just really happier looking at life with um, more of an optimistic view. Uh, when I was struggling with the food um, part, it was really hard to wake up and enjoy the day, whereas now, you know, every day's a gift, and so I always look at it as an opportunity. That's awesome. Just so everybody knows, Kara is now, I think you're in your second year, about to finish up your second year of college, right? Uh, I'm actually finished my first, well, kind of like a year and a half. Year and a half, okay. Year and a half of college, so that's awesome. Um, so, um, Kara, you, you had a chance to read the, uh, the Star Woman Manifesto, um, and I just wanted to get your take on when you read that. What did you think about that? Uh, I thought that it was very empowering. Um, I think that a lot of uh, women might struggle with the self-image and the confidence thing, and I remember reading the manifesto about it's not only about just being healthy, but being more confident in yourself. And so I think that is a big part of having a healthy lifestyle, is just the confidence. Absolutely. And so, uh, Kara, for anybody that's watching this video right now, um, um, uh, along, this, along this way, and whether it be a parent, um, whether it be a mom or a dad, or a you know, high school girl or a preteen that might be watching this video, and you know maybe they they like they struggle with self image maybe they start struggle with the high school pressures and, and maybe even you know like skip lunch like a lot of what the high school girls do and then their parents don't even realize it um and uh, or anything of the nature what would you tell the parents what would you tell this high school girl or preteen about the program i would say that you should really start the program i mean it's changed my life and it's changed it for the better and it really is just a great way to put structure in your life, um, especially if you're dealing with uh, something with food. It gives you a structure for that. And then also just being able to talk to somebody else that's not your parent, because sometimes you need that other person just um, to help you get through whatever it is that you're dealing with. So I would definitely recommend um, the Jason Pearson diet to any any high schooler that's dealing with body image issues, dealing with any kind of um, issues with food, or just you know parents that that feel that maybe their kids are going through something like this, um, I, it's a great program. Well, that's awesome. We heard from Kara. Um, if you're interested, you want to get more help with this, whether for your, for yourself, if you're a teenager or a preteen, or whether you're a parent and you can identify. Um, experienced girl struggling with things and or even now even just watching this video for the first time and like huh you know you might know what to look for in your in your in your teenager or preteen too um go definitely um go to jasonpearsondiet.com or strongwoman.com um get some more information and um uh, so um i can help you out and um other than that look forward to working with you thanks so much for coming out here Karen, and sharing your story and i'll see y'all on the next video